I think you want me to do it. Jay the Younger, what's good, baby? Wow, what's on with the business is? Man, everybody asks me for a damn Jay the Younger interview, man. What's the hype about, man? What's good, baby? Shit. Shit, I'm just doing my thing right now. Shit, I'm trying to keep it. Nah, go ahead, my bad, go ahead, my bad. See, I said, I'm just doing my thing right now. I'm trying to keep pushing. Man, one thing I can say about you, I don't I don't really know too much about what you got going on in the, in the, in the streets or whatever like that, but it seems like you're really prevailing. You're really prospering without the beef shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I, don't, I don't do beef. I, I don't beef here. Right, straight up. So, I mean, where, where, where are you at right now? Are you during uh, Bogalooza? Yeah, I'm in my city right now. I'm in Bogalusa, Louisiana. Okay, and that's like what two hours away from Baton Rouge? It ain't even two hours. It's I give it a good okay. hour, an hour and twenty at the most. It just depends on how you okay, drive. Okay, how far? How far from New Orleans? The same amount, like it's like the same distance. Okay, cause yeah, a lot of people, and, and even at, at the, again, we thought you were from Baton Rouge. Like, where does that connect? That why do people, so many people think you're Man, from Baton Rouge? I swear to God. I swear to God, ever since I started, ever since I started doing my thing, you hear me? Everybody that question me, the first thing they say, man, like, you from Baton Rouge, right? I be like, nah, I'm not from Baton Rouge. I guess they think that because, like, we so close and our lingo and shit, so much of the same, you know, it's so similar. So, shit, I guess that's what it is, but I'm not from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm from Bogalusa, you hear me? I, I mean, does that kind of get to you that, you know, so many people say, we have the same boosty sound or, you know, um, that all y'all sound alike. Does that kind of get to you that people get you confused with Bad Rouge and Bubba Loser? I mean, shit, it don't, it don't do nothing to me, you know, but I, I don't like when, like, like all the, all the, all the blogs and shit, when they, when they post it, the first thing they say is Bad Rouge. I don't like that, like, if they really want to post me, they should look into me first and really find out where I'm from, you know, and get my city credit because, you know, where I'm from, it's less chances from artists to make it, you know what I'm saying? And like, shit, this shit a blessing. So I would love to promote my city more. Yeah, yeah, straight up, I ain't gonna lie. At, at first, we used to say Baton Rouge, and then, oh, so many of your fans got at us. Like, man, he ain't from no fucking Baton Rouge. Yeah. So we would change it, but, but, but you, you know, that's kind of the same thing Kodak Black went through at the beginning, too, because nobody was from Pompano. But, you know, he put on for Pompano so hard, because at first everybody thought Kodak Black was from Miami, but he kept telling people, man, I'm not from no Miami, nigga, I'm from Pompano. Right. And you're kind of going through the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Right, shit, yeah. Definitely, so like, what is, what is it like in, Bo in Bogaloo? Because most people have never been there, it's not like a vacation spot. Shit, shit. Shit, it's just like everywhere else, yeah. It's small, though, it's very small, you hear me? It's small. And it's a lot of hating ass people around here, and it's a lot of people that show love around here. But shit, overall, right, it's okay. overall shit. I love my city. Right. Okay. So, um, what, what was it like growing up? Like, what was the experience like growing up in Bogalusa? Growing up, shit, trying to find a way to the top. Like, shit, looking at everybody else, looking at all my uh, shit, looking at all my siblings and shit. And all my family members, like, shit, most of them, you know, they ain't go the right route. So, shit, what I was trying to do was, shit, I had hoop dreams at first, shit. Yeah, I was trying to go see the NBA. I was fucking around right. Rondo, you hear me? I was trying to do this shit. I was trying to be a point guard in the NBA. But, shit, school, it was to a point where, shit, I couldn't stay out of trouble. My grades couldn't stay at a point to I could stay on the team. So, shit, you know. That shit went all bad, so what I had to do was, shit, find a way with this music. Shit, I ended up dropping out of school right in 12th grade. That shit crazy, but shit, you know, shit, I got so deep into the music to where I wasn't focused on no school. I feel like, shit, all I got to do is keep moving with this music and, you know, break through. So you go all the way to 12th grade and then drop out? See, I don't even know how I made it, though, to be honest. So, so wait, so you drop out with, why not finish, why not finish the rest of the semester and get your, get your... That shit was hard, it got even harder every year. But shit, I cheated my way through every ACT, every fucking, everything. I cheated my way through, but shit, it was to that one point where shit, I just stopped coming to school. 
And they was triggering me to whatever, like, you got to finish this. You know, you got to finish a certain amount of classes and get a certain amount of credits in order to graduate. And I got to that point where I ain't get enough credits. And shit, I wasn't showing up. I wasn't giving a fuck about school. Right, okay. So was you rapping then? Yeah, I started rapping, like, I started rapping, like, at the end, end of my 11th grade. Okay, cool. So how old are you now? I'm 19. Okay, so this was, like, probably not even two years ago. Right. A year right, and a half, so, at the most. Okay, so the city of Bogalusa, this like, there has never been a popping rapper in your city. Shit. Not really. Okay, so... How do you get a buzz by living in Bogalusa? Like, what was the, what, what did you do to get this buzz that you, you know, that you got today? Shit, my work ethic. I shit, I stay, I stay consistent through it all. I never stop. Like when I started, and I seen my buzz was creating. Like I start getting to that point. Shit, I just, I pressed the button. I kept coming back to back with videos. I dropped mixtape after mixtape. Shit, and I kept working. I showing, I was showing you, showing know, my skills. <laughs> my skills can be denied. That's basically what it was. Right. Right. And, and one thing I noticed about you, you really take your bar serious. Like, if you listen to, if, if niggas listen to Jada Youngin and, and really, and really listen to what you're saying, you really got bars. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's right. what Louisiana is about, man. Like, even New Orleans, Bat Rouge, y'all are, y'all made a lot of people respect the South. You know what I'm right. saying? So, I mean, are you one of those rappers that, that, that just go in the booth for freestyle, or do you really write your shit down? I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first started, I was the type where I sat there and I wrote it and I made sure I was different from everybody and I and, and my shit was raw, bar from bar. Like, and I was telling my story at the same time, but it got to a point where people was like, shit, just run it. So now when I go in the studio, it's so easy for me. I'm so used to it, where well, I can go in that bitch and I can just catch it and I can just add yeah, freestyle to that bitch. Uh, uh, <laughs> you had to do my shit on that bitch, but yeah. Right, for sure, for sure. Now, you just came out with a, uh, a new tape called The Real 23. The Real Jumpman 23, right? See, it's, I'm The Real Jumpman 23. I got on 23s right now. Right, now, what is the title about, man? Because a lot of people got that, that, that whole title, you know, confused and they own little, you know, rumors about, you know, this and such and such and this and that. Let's clear it up for the air about, you know, the title of the mixtape. The title of the mixtape just came with me, you know. It would just it just is it just explains itself. When you think of Michael, right. you think of greatness. When I think of myself, I think of greatness. And a lot of people got right. confused thinking I was throwing shots at other rappers. You know, putting myself in in a position for clout, but I don't do that, Jeremy. That ain't me. Right. I mean, what is it like waking up one day and everybody's tagging you, saying that you know allegation this, allegation that? Like, you know, like you wake up one morning, what are you thinking to yourself when you drop the tape, and then everybody's thinking it's about something else? I swear I don't like that shit. I swear I hate that shit, but. At the same time, our publicity is good publicity, so I don't trip. I let them think what they want to think at the end of the day. It's just promotion, so fuck it. Tune in. Check me out. Nah, that's all facts. That's all facts. Now, on the tape, my favorite my favorite record is, is Muddy Situation, and I feel like that's a lot of people's favorite record. Would you say that? That's mine, too. Facts. That's mine, too. Okay. Muddy situation. Okay, so when you I ride, love this. When you ride through your city, is that, all, is that what you hear in your tape? Huh? When you ride through your city, is that all you hear in your tape? I can't hear you say it again. When you when you ride through your city, is that is that what you hear in your t your mixtape? Yeah, I, I, but most of, to be honest, I don't like I don't be riding through my city too much no more. So I don't hear. It. Mm. So I mean, I mean, now uh, your status is on a different level. Why do you have to carry yourself different? I mean, is there hatred towards you in your city? Somewhat, shit, in a major way, in some way. But shit, you know, that's it. That's where everybody, when they get to a certain point in their career, but shit, you know how that go.